Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel and to part number 26 of my legacy challenge. Now I am recording this immediately back to back with the one that, um, the last episode, sorry, I completely lost my train of thought there. Um, the last episode, I am recording it immediately back to back. And the reason for that is I am going to be going across to England for a week to visit my mum and I'm not going to have access to my recording equipment and everything else. Um, while I'm there so I am recording ahead of time that's recording ready for you guys so you don't miss out on any episodes while I am away and that means of course that if I haven't answered your comments or I haven't um what's the word I'm looking for instigated is the wrong word utilized if I haven't utilized any of your suggestions or anything like that then that's why I'm not ignoring you it's just that I haven't seen them prior to this recording so Mr. Walter's off to school and only just he was skipping school and I had to send him. Um, Mr. Yori is waking up and taking care of having breakfast. Little miss, you need to go and use the potty chair. The weather is horrendous. When she has done that and you've done all that, I want you to feed her on the floor. Come on. There we go. Feed her on the floor. That's fine. Now, what's wrong with Mr. Man? His hygiene is way down, so Mummy's going to have to wake up in a moment and take care of him, and that is fine. We will set you... There we go. He's screaming. Change his dirty diaper. His hunger's not horrendous, but we will give him a bottle anyway, and... I really have trouble with the location of these cribs, actually, I do. But anyway... Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys, I had, um used this hologram just for a little bit of extra decor in the house why are you shouting at a poor baby that's crying i know you're pregnant darling i know you are but you know you're just taking the piss a little bit now um snuggle him and play with him and then you can put him back in the crib and then you can go and have a pee you can are you gonna go and feed her or what go and feed her she's halfway through the wall like seriously there we go feed her on the floor because she needs feeding on the floor and are you at work today you are at work today and your performances are down but everything else is kind of up you still want to master the guitar skill and everything else is okay so i want you to go and no actually i don't want you to do that right now because you are going to um interfere with her going for a pee so she's gonna go for a pee oh we've got these things in our inventory to sell we will sell these Yes, we will. No, all of them, darling. All of them. Yes, sell those. Sell those. I'm surprised you don't have more. In all honesty, I am. But we'll have a look at what's going on with the garden because you might not have finished everything before you came in. Uh, when you've done that, do you need to eat or anything, sweetheart? I know you're going stir crazy. No, you, you're fine for now. So I want you to head on over here. I want you to harvest or just tend your garden. You don't need to water it, so good lad you don't need to water it and mr yori can take care of things in the house for the time being are you being sick no i don't know right you can go and pee you can and you can take a shower and then you could probably um serve lunch of ooh, goopy carbonara get some food into our fridge Oscar, how you doing, sweetheart? Can you come and stiff her or something? Will that in follow? No, that's not going to work. I don't understand why you've not got any interactions with the toddlers, in all honesty. But We will get somebody to talk to you in a wee while, Mr. Man. It's okay. It is. You still want to master the hunting skill and you still want to visit the graveyard. Well, once we've got your social skills up a little bit, we will, we will send you... Not your social skills, your social... Um, needs up a little bit we will send you to the graveyard in fact don't prepare lunch yet i want you to care for him no you can't do that wake him up and then we can we can take care of all his needs just quickly before you um there he is okay so affection feed him a treat i know you're so sad let him sniff your hand um talk to him I care for him by giving him a brush and um, talk to him again. Come on. Go and take care of Mr. Man's needs, please. 
And then we'll send him to visit a graveyard. Um, we'll accept it and then we'll have a look at what it is later. How are you doing? Oh. Your social's going up. Good, good, good. Good. So much better. Is there anything else? No. Can you just do one more thing with him? Um, care for him by giving him a brush again. And then she's tired, so pop her in. No, we'll see if she needs anything to eat first. She needs a diaper changing. Um, wrong person. There we go. Um, she could do with a bath, but I don't think I have a bath for her. Um, let me have a look. Let me have a look. What do you need? Your hygiene is very low, darling. Let's see if changing your outfit fixes that. Change outfit. One second, guys. <coughs> Sorry about that. I thought the cough had gone away, but obviously not. Hopefully it settles. I don't need to be coughing all the way through these. And your energy is very low. Let's see if changing your diaper... Not your diaper. Changing your outfit fixes it. Yes, it does. Awesome. Now, would you please pop her in the crib because she needs to sleep. She's tired. You're home from school and you need to go and take a shower, my darling. Good boy. And then I would like you to do your homework, which is there. So do your homework. You are... Pretty much A-OK. -okay. You could do with a nap. So go and take a nap. Because you're going to be going to work soon. What on earth? I forgot that we had that. So we're going to give that to you. Um, that's because I didn't get rid of it in time. And we'll sell that. Yes, we will. I'll could you anything else for us, darling. You have, oh, a rare beetle. Awesome. You are a good kitty cat. Take a nap because you need to be rested for school. How are you doing, sweetheart? How's your garden coming along? You are soaking wet, but everything else is pretty much taken care of. Can't we plant that yet? No, we cannot. Okay, well, we're going to get rid of those. And that. We're going to sell those. And those. And then we will see. Oh, we still need to get rid of this. So we'll dispose of that and we'll dispose of that as well. Need Come on, sweetheart. That. How are you doing, Mr. Yori? How are you doing, sir? Mm, your energy's going up a little bit. Okay, Mr. Man. Are you doing your homework? You could do with a nap as well, by the look of you, but anyway. Um, Oscar, darling, where are you? What are you doing? You're stalking for prey. That's good. But what I want you to do is I want to take care of some of your needs. And where is the local graveyard? There it is. See, we can visit the graveyard. Visit the cemetery. And then when you're at the cemetery, we are going to get you to stalk for prey. And see what you catch at the graveyard. See what you catch at the graveyard. There's seeds and all sorts of stuff, but um, we'd have to send Minnie over. She is now level 7. Let's whiz back to her, actually. I see things as I'm whizzing around, but anyway. Um, what's this? Rubbish. Right, well, we'll have to take care of that in a minute, won't we, darling? You tend into the garden. That's fine, but I want you to dispose of the dead plants. And, of course, you probably harvest everything. Is that not ready? No, it's not ready. That's why you haven't harvested it. Good girl. Okay. That one needs... Yeah, dispose of all their plants. We'll just... We'll tell you to do that. And then, sweetheart, I know you're starving. You are. Can you plant this now? You can, which is awesome. And we're going to plant that one right there. Because I don't know what it is. Yuri, darling, we're going to have to check on you because you've got to go to work very soon you're still having a nap and that is fine because it means that you'll be in a fit state to go to work he's nearly done with his homework and when you have done that in fact do you know what don't dispose of the
plants. Just go and do that one. And then I want you to take a shower. And I want you to serve dinner of spaghetti. No, we're not going to the party. We are not going to the party. And I think the baby's going to age up today, actually. Okay, mister, stop, pause. You're going to see what the baby wants. What does the baby want? The baby needs social and feeding. So I want you to quickly, before you go to work, please give the baby a bottle. Snuggle. And play with. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Are you nearly done with your homework, Mr. Man? It looks like you are. Which is great because you are tired, um, but you need some fun as well. So you can go and watch some TV after you've finished your homework. Just. Oh, the baby's crying. Okay, you need to go to work. So. She is in a foul mood. I hope the baby's pretty much taken care of now. The baby is fine. So you go to work, mister. Go and take a shower, Minnie. Come on, sweetheart. She's exhausted. She really is. What are you wearing, dude? Come on, I know you're pregnant, darling. I know, just waddle yourself along. There we go. Have a shower. In actual fact, you know what? Don't cook anything because it's late. Is there any leftovers? No. Right, have a quick meal of cereal and then you can serve dinner of spaghetti. Because that'll take care of you. <clears throat> and I believe Mr. Man's meant to age up today, but I can't swear to it. Um, but hopefully he will, and then we'll have two toddlers to take care of. But she must be near aging up as well, you know. Let's have a look at you. Uh, one more day. So she should age up tomorrow or so. What are you doing with... Oh, he's aging up. He's aging up. Awesome. We're going to have a little toddler. It's Hunter's birthday. Good lad. <sighs> Sweetheart, you need to go and take care of you as well. Go and eat something. He's kind of stuck at the minute. We'll get to him. Um, Yes, days have flown and Hunter is now a toddler. We will check him in a second. How are you doing, darling? Um, Have something to eat. You've had a shower. And then you can cook. Serve dinner of spaghetti, please. Oh, well, that was clever of me, really, wasn't it? Don't do that. Continue cooking there. Yeah, good girl. Right, let's have a look at you. Oh, you look like you're a cutie pie. Let's have a look. Um, They all kind of look like their dad, don't they? And we're asked Master Controller and... We will go into Cass and have a look at you. They do all kind of look like the dad, I've noticed. A lot of them. Well, no, all of them. All of them seem to look like the dad with the facial features and stuff like that. Let's have a look. You are cute. Look at those eyes. Look at those eyes. No, we don't want to edit your basics. You're a human being. We know that. Okay, hair. We are going to give you a bit more hair. Um, I really need to go shopping, custom content shopping for boys' hair. But for the time being... You are grand. Yes, those eyebrows are better. Um, <clears throat> no, we're not going to edit any of that. We're just going to give you some nice clothing. So, everyday outfits. And we are going to give you just a t-shirt. I don't have very many boys' clothes either, to be fair. I tend to concentrate on the girls' ones because they just look so much cuter. Um, we want you with long trousers. So, you can have some jeans. And we will give you some little shoes. Like little black trainers. Oh, that's cute. Okay, formal wear, which you don't wear very often. Um, outfits. Let's have a look. Well, to be honest, that's quite a cute outfit. So we're probably going to leave it. Um, sleepwear. This is always a problem. Sleepwear. Outfits. I think we are going to give you, Mr. Man, that little one. And the shoes have got to go. No shoes. Okay, and for your uh, outdoor wear, let's give you an outfit. And we're not going to have you wearing that. We're going to give you like a little 
That's cute because it kind of matches the gloves. We like that. We do. And you never wear these. But anyway, we will give you... Yep, yeah, that'll do you. Yeah. Awesome. So little Hunter is aged up just before the other baby is born. And I'm hoping... I'm hoping that Josie ages up. In the, well, she will age up probably in the next episode. Um, Tomorrow she ages up. So let's see. You are fine, but we are going to have to potty train you. You are grumpy because you're starving. Come on, eat your food. Oh, veggie rolls. Is that what you made? Seriously? Okay, well, whatever. Veggie rolls it is. Um, It is 9pm and you are exhausted, Mr. Man. So, take you to bed, please. What broke? What broke? Seriously, did the TV break? I hope not. I don't see anything broken. Anyway, right. Clean that up. Good girl. I want you to potty train Hunter a couple of times, please. Because the sooner he can do that himself, the better. And then what else do you need, mate? That's really pretty much it. Then you can put him in the crib. And once he's in the crib, I'm going to cut out and get back to you guys in the morning. Because um, there's really no point in... And sitting here while they sleep really is the so let's go and potty train him quickly i don't know how long this will take but he may be quick he may not oscar has caught a squirrel a squirrel are you serious oscar you good lad only common only 20 but even so you good lad play with the raccoon no we're not going to do that explore under something we can let you do that Oh, Who's snoring? Oh, that'll be the, the little one. Okay, he's catching that. That's fine. But we are going to see how you are doing. Awesome. He's nearly potty trained already, actually. Yes, we know that there's a big puddle all over the floor. But for now, it's just going to have to do because... Mommy needs to go to bed. Awesome, he's already potty trained. That's awesome. Okay, so clap him into bed, you go to sleep, and I am going to catch up with you guys in the morning. And welcome back, everybody. Um, I played through quite a little bit off camera because I've got two birthdays today, and I want to make sure that we are able to get those in before... Um, what's wrong with you, darling? You're hungry get those in before we stop recording so feed her on the floor go and take a shower and then i want you to serve up some food um serve brunch and make pancakes for us please in fact do that before you have a shower he's starving hungry as well um he can just eat some leftovers for now and you've just come no not you you've just come home because you've been out i want you to actually go to the movie theaters actually um while we attend movie go and watch house with no doors i don't care sounds weird but whatever um just because we need to get your birthday cake and everything lined up ready for your birthday okay so there we go Okay, Mini Spalding is in mourning because Gary, Gary Tobias. Oh, does that mean he's not going to be bringing you any more presents, darling? Such a shame. You are carrying Hunter. You don't want to hold that. Don't serve that until you have fed this little man, okay? Give him... Right, you're putting him down. Okay, that's fine. Now, can we give you... The baby is coming. Oh, my goodness, this poor woman. Okay, um... You're going to have to go to the hospital, darling. You're going to have to go to the hospital. Um, Maybe we'll call a babysitter or whatever. But anyway, the baby is coming. We've got kids that are screaming and hungry. Baby's coming. Don't you freak out about that. I want you to feed her on the floor, please. Because she is more important right now. And I want you to give him some food in the high chair. And Minnie can take care of herself. She's done this a few times before. This will be baby number five for her, so she will get to fulfil her lifetime wish. Well, I hope she does before she passes away anyway. Um, we will 
head over and see what's happening there and that also means that I need to get my book I found it so we're good to go these kids are all screaming 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 come on mister feed her on the floor come on thank you and then I want you to pay the bills and that sounds like sad music I'm not quite sure why we have sad music but we have sad music we do have sad music I'm not quite sure why but anyway yeah, I know you're hungry, but feed your kids. Feed your kids, feed your kids, and then go and get something to eat, okay? Eat veggie rolls, and we're going to go here with Madam. And hopefully she comes out in a better mood, because... And Josie cannot be left at home. Fine, call a babysitter. It's fine. We don't We don't care. Call a babysitter. Once a small dude just invited to a party, awesome. Well, we're not going, because we're going to be trying to give our kids a birthday party as well but it'll be just us so that is fine hopefully the baby kid sister will take care of these kids while we are waiting and in the meantime i am praying that this is a girl so she doesn't have to get pregnant again immediately and let me see if i can find where my list of names is come on darling push 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 Baby names. There we go. Sims 3 Legacy. Okay, let's see. Please be a girl or else she's going to have to get pregnant again with an elderly man. Yes, it's a girl! And um, because it's a girl and because it's our last one, I don't actually need a book. Because if you remember at the beginning, I said, well, after my auntie died, I said that the last girl born to Minnie was going to be called Brenda after my auntie. So that is what we are going to do. And she is artistic and a heavy sleeper. That'll be good. Oh, we've got two girls. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I can't cope. I can't cope. We're going to have twins to deal with with an elderly man. Okay, so I do need my names when I find them. They are in this book. Where did I put them? Is the question. Okay, there's my Q&A questions. Where are we? Where are we? I just had the right page and everything and then said, no, I don't need it. In the beginning, I think it is. Okay, yes, we do. Okay, and we are going to go with Mia from Crystal. So thank you for that, sweetheart. And she is clumsy and friendly. That's awesome. Two, we have twins. We have twins. We do. And you can go home now. And yes, we are going to have to buy new things and other stuff, but that is fine. Just added twins, we are aware of that. And my goodness, yes, 75. Just for babysitting a few kids who are still miserable as sin, I have to say. Yuri is about to go off to work and he is not very happy either. Life is about to get hectic, guys. Very, very hectic. Let's see, can we tilt this the way I like it? Come on, there we go. Okay. So, we are going to need another crib, for sure. And we need these kids to age up, for sure. So, let me see. We are going to have to do some quick DIY building here. Um, but it is okay. It is okay. We will, we will manage. Let's put the walls up. Yes, we will. I said walls up. Thank you. Mamma mia. Thank you. Now, come on, I know we can do this. I know we can. Well, if we were in build mode, it would help, wouldn't it? Instead of being in buy mode, you know. We are going to drag this out just a little. Okay, so they now have a bigger bedroom, and that's fine, because they need it, and we're going to put the walls back to cut down. This can go in the middle of the room. This can now be turned around. And we're going to have to duplicate it because we have three babies to take care of. There we go. These are her last ones, but Brenda is going to be our 
air because I had already said that's what was going to happen. Um, so they are home. Right, you, mister, need to put baby in here, put me in the crib, and you need to go and finish eating those because you have got to go to work. So eat your veggie rolls. You are still on your way home. You can put Brenda in the crib. You can take a shower and then you can... Um, this baby's still starving. What did the babysitter do? What did the babysitter do? Give baby food, take a shower and eat leftover veggie rolls. Okay, that's you. Okay, awesome. Right. You, mister, yeah, you're starving. And you, darling, have got no energy at all, but we need to aid you up. So let us buy you a cake. Because as soon as she's actually had a shower, we can get you two aged up. And then that will make life a little bit easier. Um, Walter needs to age up as well as... Was it Brenda that needed to age up? I can't remember. I think it's Brenda that's aging up today. Um... We'll buy two cakes anyway. We will, because, you know, this is what we need to do. Outdoor. And I'm not quite sure what it came under activities, maybe. Birthday cake. There's one birthday cake. And there is the second birthday cake. We are good to go. Right, now I will double check who is actually aging up. I will. Let's put you on normal speed for the time being. Yes, darling, I know you're tired. But you, is it you that needs to age up? Because if it is, we can age you up and then you can take yourself to bed, okay? It is you that's aging up. Right. So you, darling, have a shower and then blow out candles, Josie. No, we're not. We're not stopping now. We're not. I bet you don't blow the candles out. I bet you don't. Maybe, maybe, maybe he's going to take you to blow your candles out. I don't know. Somebody is. Anyway, and you, mister, I think you're due to age up now as well. Yes, you are. So you can blow those candles out. Um, Walter. Good lad. And you're missing it because you're in the shower, but anyway, it's fine. No. Let's see, because I want to see what these kids age up to, and we've got a mess to deal with, but anyway. All right, Josie, you're aging up, sweetheart. You are. I hope the game doesn't crash with these two birthdays at the same time, but anyway, it's fine. I think bills need to be paid as well, so we're going to have to take care of that. Okay, let's see what you look like. Awesome, awesome. You look like you're kind of cute. Good, brave, and never nude. Okay, that's fine. That is fine. And now Walter can become a teenager and really help out, because he can babysit now. Oh, Walter, I know you stink. Okay, but I'm sorry. We're going to take care of you in a minute, darling. Okay? So we've had a birth and two birthdays on this episode. My goodness. Two births and two birthdays. Walter has reached teen years. We, we already know all that. So he's artistic, clumsy, a supernatural fan and a workaholic. I'm not quite sure on your choice of clothes, but anyway, right. I'm going to just press pause quickly because Mummy needs to deal with this little one who is stinking by the look of it. So come over here, sweetheart, and change his dirty diaper. Okay, and then eat um, leftovers because you are starving. You, Yori, are meant to be going to work very soon. How soon are you meant to be going to work? <clears throat> <clears throat> Three days. Are we missing work? Go to work. Let me have a look. Let's have a look at you. Where do you work? It's over here somewhere. That's a party. That's fine. But that's not where you work. Where do you work? There. Go to work. Why can't you go quit job 
Perform concert. Go on, go and perform a concert. Do something, do anything. You're meant to be at work. You are. So go and perform a concert because you were meant to be at work today. And you now it says starts in three days. So we're not we're not going into this again. No, we're not. Um you'll be retiring soon enough. But if you want to get another thirty thousand before you die, mister, then you need to get a move on. Right, so you, sweetheart, are tired. But other than that, you are fine. You need a shower and you need to go to bed, and that is where Josie cannot sleep. Well, Hunter is crying. Well, is you're not going to be near Hunter in a minute. But for the time being, quickly then, let's jump in to create a sim and have a look at your clothes because I don't think that you're going to be wearing the best clothes. And yes, this episode is running long, but I figured that you guys would want to see this before we quit because that is awesome. We've got our next generation. The heir is born and we have a spare. And we also have, you are gorgeous though. And we also have, she's got such pretty eyes, but I'm not liking that hair. Um, all the eyebrows. We've got the hair and we've got birthdays. Right, let's have a look at you. That's actually really cute on you, but we are going to have to fix the eyebrows, darling. We are. Much better, much better. And you are gorgeous. You are. Let's have a look at your clothes then. This is your sleepwear, I assume. No, 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 no. Okay, just accept that. Let's have a look at you. Right, every day. Every day outfits. And we, we need to zoom out because, like, I can't see anything. Thank you. Thank you. Right, every day outfits. See if we've got any pre-made ones that look cute on you. Um... I can't remember what your traits are off the top of my head. But let's make you cute. Okay, we'll give you girly clothes and then actually those trainers kind of match. So we're going to keep those. Formal wear, we are going to give you... Um, I actually quite like that. Yeah. That does look quite cute. Okay, formal wear then, we will give you all this. That's cute, but not with those. We will give you um, these ones would kind of match it. Uh, sleepwear, I think, was okay. Yeah, these sleepwear's fine. Athletic wear. Quickly, quickly, come on. Uh, nah. No, 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 no. Okay, athletic wear. We are going to give you just a jogging outfit kind of thing with... Some trainers. Just some runners. There we go. And a swimwear. Mm, that's actually okay. That'll do. And outerwear. Oh, I want to use these. That's so cute. That's gorgeous. Okay, you can wear that. that that's you taken care of. Now we have to do quickly do you, brother. Mizubi. You're welcome, my darling. You are. Okay, and you, sweetheart. Let's have a look at you. You look angry. I think it might be your eyebrows. Yes, it's definitely your eyebrows. Let's have a look what we can do with you because those eyebrows aren't working for me. They are not working for me. I hope this doesn't run over too far, but if it does, I'll try and cut little Maybe bits out that aren't important. Let's see what a different hair and a different um, eyebrow will do for you. I want to zoom into your face. Come on. Hair. I really don't know what I'm doing today. I want to... That's it. Because you've got gorgeous eyes. You have. I think you're going to be a bit of a rebel, you know. It doesn't suit the shape of your face, though. What about this one? No. I do like that. But with kind of streaks of colour going through it. Let's have a look with different eyebrows. We're not we're not using those because you just look angry. Oh, that's much better. Much softer face. Much softer. Right, let's let's fix your hair. Um colours. 
change colour. Okay, so we want streaks. The roots are black, the base is black. The highlights are going to be... Oh, now, where did I find there? Yes. I haven't finished. No. Come on. Make the highlights kind of a... Hmm. Dark purple. There. Oh, that's a nice vibrant purple. So we'll go with that. And we will copy that to there. Is that too dark? Let's have a look. Can you see it? You kind of can. I think we might need to make it just a little bit lighter though. Just so it shows. And then that. Oh, much better. Much, much better. I like that. We're going to go with that. You can be our bit of a rebel, but helping. You know, taking after your dad with his rock star. I don't know what your traits are. I'm going to have to check. But anyway, right. Everyday outfits. Let's see. Tops. What do we have for you that kind of says rock and roll? I wonder if you could wear your dad's old leather jacket, if I can find it. Because he did have a leather jacket. And it was kind of purple. I can't remember whether that was um, a custom made outfit or not. Though. There's a leather jacket. Yes. That's awesome. I like that. Right, let's go with some black jeans to tie that in together. Jeans, jeans, jeans. Oh, now I quite like these, but we need to make them purple. Or black. Let's go with these and we'll make them black. Um, black. Black. Copy that down there. Copy it there. Copy it there. Why is that not black? Um, how strange. Why is it not going black? That's unusual. Okay, don't like that. I'll go with red. Because that should make all of them black, right? No, see, it doesn't. It kind of... Okay, we can't custom content... Or we can't custom colour those. So we will go back... Um... Let's just accept them for now. And then we'll try and find some black jeans instead. Because I don't like that. That's not even letting me custom content them. Or do we have... No, we don't. Um... I would like some black jeans, you know. No, they're green. Black. They're a bit tight, but... It does look a bit rebel without a clue, which is awesome. That's kind of what I was going for. Um, I really don't think you're going to be wearing these. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I had an evil moment then. Okay, let's give you some black boots. Okay, black boots. Not shoes, we kind of want boots, like clodhopper boots. Awesome. I like that. I like that look on you, I do. I'm, I'm, I like that. Okay, formal wear. Yep, so. Yeah, no, dude, no. It really does not go with your... Um, no. Uh -uh. Okay. What would you wear formally? He probably would. <laughs> he quite probably would. Quite probably. Okay, let's just go with a basic suit. Um, That kind of makes him look like he's th three times the size he is. So we're not going to go with that one. Um, This one? 
Yeah, I think I think he probably would go with the Indiana Jones look if he was forced to dress up, wouldn't he? So we'll go with that. What are you wearing for nightwear, Sorcerer. dude? Um, <laughs> I'm not sure. The bunny slippers say rebel, darling. I'm really not sure they do. But you are buff. You are buff. Okay, athletic. Let's see. I'm, you don't go. strike me, really. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. We're going to go with the karate kid look, okay? We are. Swimwear. Sashko. Quick, quick, quick. They will do. And doorwear. Quickly. Oh, now that I like. That is a custom outfit that I actually like. But we're going to see if we can change the colour of those. Are they these ones? They are. Can we put them in grey? That suit better? No. Do you know what we're going to... Mm, I don't know if we can just copy. Right, the shoes have got to go. Shoes have got to go. We're going to go with um, boots for outdoors. Yeah. That would do it. Okay. You're gorgeous, my darling. You're gorgeous. So on that note, we are going to leave this episode Lord right Lisa. here. Don't forget to leave it a big thumbs up. And I think I deserve at least 10 thumbs up on this video for the fact that we had two births and two birthdays in one day. You know, four weddings and a funeral. No, two weddings and two births. No, no weddings. No weddings at all. Scratch that. We have two birthdays and two births. So four birthdays, really, if you want to be technical about it. Um, comments and suggestions, as always, in the comments box down below, including the questions for the um, 100 subscriber episode. And if you haven't subscribed, then please subscribe now. And what on earth? Monsters under the bed. New. And I am going to see you guys in the next episode. Ciao for now, guys.